What's up? I think we're live. I'll know in a second. We are live. Hello, everyone. Hey, hi, how are ya? It's not a bruise, it's paint. Does anyone else just find paint? Like, I don't think I've used this color in days. And I've had showers since, but I just find paint everywhere. Anyways, how are you guys? Today is... Friday. Oh my goodness, I just told someone it was Saturday. Let me correct that. Nope. Friday. I can't. I can't live right now. Hi guys. Hey, hi. How are ya? It is Friday. It is a chilly, chilly day here in Dallas, and we are going to resonate about it. Anyways, I'm Erica. You will see Jeffrey in a second. We are artists till death. We paint for you guys every day, usually live, and most of the time, a lot of the time, we use a resin a lot. And today is no exception to that. Today we're doing a 36 inch, hold on. Bowie says I forgot to introduce the boys, which I did. My bad, this is Bowie. And he'll yell at me if I don't bring him over, oops, to say hi. Um, a 36 inch ottoman tray, if you've been over to our studio, you've seen it. It's the one we have in our house all of the time. Of course, it's, anyways. It's time to refinish it. It's getting It was like one of our old. first big, like, something we did for ourselves. Yeah. It, it, it's, it has to be two years old. It has to be three years old. Because we've been in here for two years. And we did it in our last place. It's old, y'all. So it's time for a change up. So that's what we're doing today. I hope you guys um, stay tuned and see what's up with it. Cue this. No. It's not stripper music anymore. Cue the logo. Hi, Thank you for being here. I know. I love you too. No more baby kisses. So here it is, our ottoman thing. Well, I, I painted it black. Yeah. I just wanted to get a head start because I'm sure did not want to see. All I did was sand it with 220 and then just spray painted it with flat black. Okay, Bowie. Maybe All right. So we can use these a little bit bigger cups. I don't. Here's some beads. Are we made bigger ones? No. I had the party cup sizes. You guys didn't remind me to order cups, so I'm going to do that right now. In a minute. So, those are. are impossible to get apart. If you can get it to spin, you can get it out. No. Anyway. What's up, you guys? Hello. Hi. How are you? If you're new, welcome. Well, if you've been here for a while, also welcome. If you're new, where are you from? What are you doing today? Are you arting on things? Share. I'm so glad you're receiving your orders. Yeah, I think we're going to have to make them more. All right, so. Thank you, Shane. We're going to use um, just some fun, interesting, fun finds. I'm going to mix some old glitter with some new glitter. Um, she wants to call this Big Top. I think it looks like a Big Top. It has all the colors that a circus would have. It makes me happy. 
It's like super colorful. From Color Obsession. And then we have Confetti Collection. Oh, that's all con Confetti Collection. Um, there's no there's no names to these. There, it's series something, number something. Series one, number three. Yeah, um, I need her to put names on This is like those. pink and silver. And then we have some awesome... Uh, that one color changes. Yeah. It's chameleon chunky. Series one, number 10. Thank you, Holly. The big top is series one, number two. Um, and we do have this available on our website, artistilldeaf.com. And then we have some candy pink, which is super amazing, super fine. So sparkly. We're going to use some color obsession, purple, gold, green. Big, what is this called? Those are chameleon flakes, and I just got them in from Color Obsession. They're like gold leaf flakes, but they're chameleon. So they don't melt into resin. If you can move a, towards the spray paint, do it again, but yeah. So they're super awesome. That's perfect. Uh, but they're like foil, so they don't melt into resin they are just buoyant in resin and so i haven't used them in resin yet so we're gonna see so what it looks just, like it just kind of sits there yeah we, we got some abalone shell by bling it a oh, resin art bling it abalone shell see i bet this yes i am nice wonderful winter wonderland color and then some halo and a little bit bigger halo so we'll just mix these two together Catherine the paint's been watching about three hours of our videos today we appreciate that very right, very so much we're gonna put a hefty amount of all the glitter in we like it to be very sparkly. Okay. Do we want to? Do we want to flood coat it, or we just? When we lines? did uniform spit, we didn't. Yeah, because then it would just go everywhere. Yeah, we wanted to stick to itself a little bit. Yeah. And so to get glitter to stay to itself a little bit more, the key is to really load your resin with it because it's not going to set it off early because it's. Nothing's melting into the resin. So really load it and don't use a lot of heat. Those are the keys to your glitter line staying oh gosh. solid. This stuff like floats. It's foil. Wow. Foil. Foil. It's a weird word. Hi, Gin Germs. Hey Megan, it's early cocktail time. I don't have, I tried to get some like of my Trulies delivered today. They are out. Thank you, Gin Germs. Megan, did you send me that video? I didn't, I haven't checked. I don't know how much it's going to be. I'm just going to load it up. You never have too much glitter. Mm -mm. Shane's, you're 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 having early happy hour too. You're the only one. Gosh, I'm not going to use it all. Using all of it, huh? There wasn't a lot in there. I it was just a simple thing for what? This is full. This is so fun. If you guys don't know. This will just be the main one. Glitter gets everywhere. Okay? Even if you didn't really want it to. Just a 
picked up Funky Buddha. No worries, Megan. I got you, Shane. Well, I hope you have an awesome day at work. We're trying to decide if we want to put any actual pigments into this piece, and I think we decided not. But you never know. What's up, TZ? How are you and your polar bear doing? Do I need to be mixing up more resin? You got that, Bowie? Wait. God. Yeah, we're going to need... <laughs> Where are your gloves over here? They're right here. Just hold on, big boy. Love it. Well, that's the good thing about glitter. You can just wipe your stick off. Mm. And then go to your next one. What are you doing, Bubba? Get down? Come here, get down. Oh my god, this is like so. There's way too much glitter here. <laughs> Not such. I mean, it's just. Thing. It just needs. There needs to be more liquid. No such thing as too much glitter ever, never, not never, ever. How many more ounces do you want? I don't know, maybe up. Ten ounces more? Or? I, I, would, I would do like, let's do like, no, that's not. Do like, do 16, maybe. Okay. Well, I've got some pieces I can flood if. You don't end up using it, so just don't mix it all right away. So we're using Stone Coat Art Coat. It is very durable resin. It's got a two hour working time. Super UV resistant. Heat resistant up to 500 Fahrenheit. This stuff is literally just floating around in here. GK, we're happy to see you on this live feed. Made it in time, Manuel. You made it. That's super fun. Look at that. Just stir glitter. I, I would love to just let that set. I can't, we can't. No one can see it. Which one is that? Is that candy? Yeah. That is beautiful. If you're trying to be on camera right there, you're not. I don't understand how this Now thing. you are. So that is called Candy Pink, and it is a fine glitter from Just Resin. Pretty sure I have some in stock at the moment. That is beautiful. Pomegranate jam. I just got some pomegranates in. I'm probably going to peel one today. I love pomegranates. Pomegranate everything. Sorry for all the shaking. My bad, my bad, my bad. What does it taste like? I will never know. What if we just do a, like a puddle pour? Just pour, pour it all out. And then take the next one and pour it all out so it just kind of goes. It's going to mix. 
think it will? You don't think it'll just kind of push it outward? 100% skin and mix because you're pouring it on top of the other colors. Do a coaster and see. If you were going to do that, I would just suggest doing rings. Roadside test. If you guys, you know, if, if you guys aren't sure what you want to do, I always do a little roadside test. And a roadside test is just when you get something that's similar, smaller, same color, and just kind of experiment with it off to the side. And that's the good thing about using Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat is it's got a two hour working time. Like this is no joke, the best resin on the market. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. It's got an amazing uh, ultra UV protectant in it. Uh, you can set stuff up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit on it. Uh, I never smell any odor from it. Some people say they can smell it. They must have bloodhound noses. But I can never smell it. This is just... I have to put more resin in here. Mm. All right, let's mix some more resin then I'll put. You got my sweet. Mm. <coughs> this chair's so tall. I have to like hoist myself up to get here. Congrats on the newborn, GK. Resonate's good. They have good colorants. We did a review on their brand not too long ago. Good choice. And I may be carrying some um, Eli Chem products coming up soon. And I know that they're out of the UK. But they have some awesome things that we may start carrying in the shop, possibly coming up. Every time I do this, I feel like I'm adjusting a toupee because it always just, all of it moves. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Eli Kim will be on Amazon soon but not their full line. I think they're only gonna start out with their Mastercast and possibly their Ultracast and some of their colorants. Um, they are, they're gonna work into the market really slowly. I just, um, two days ago, spoke to their US rep, Tanya, and I spoke with Aram, one of the owners. He and I have, not a love-hate relationship he let i respect him as a business person i think he respects us as content creators and resin reviewers um i don't think he was really digging my review on resi blast because i hate it that's probably why he probably but but that's we we do to. We, no, he knows that he knows my opinion, and he knows that we do only unbiased and real life reviews on what works and what doesn't for us. I have also done really great reviews on their base cell products, their aluminum powder, their Mastercast, and their Ultracast, which are all really nice products. You should try them if you get a chance. I don't know if you're talking about Resonate or Eli Chem. No, their resin doesn't smell either. Mastercast and Ultracast are really good resins. They are on the more expensive end, from what I remember. But Mastercast is awesome because it's a really clear resin that sets up 
in no time. It doesn't have very long working time, but it also sets up really nicely. And Ultracast um, is their longer working time resin. All right. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I guess I'll just kind of just do it in lines. I would, that's what I would do. Like the thicker lines. The only thing is, I don't think I'm going to have enough for like one line. Like, I don't think this is going to be enough. Unless we heat it up to kind of. I would put a line down and then move it around to kind of get it to. Let me see what this is doing. All right. Well, thank you, Arlene. Absolutely, TZ. I know that the UK is like hurting for resin products because importing to the UK is like near impossible unless you do it shady style like under the table-ish and just hope you don't get caught. We don't like to mess up our juju in our studio. So because it's hard to get products into the UK, it's good that you have a good brand that's there to use. So if you're in the UK and you're looking for a resin brand, absolutely look into Eli Kim products, which would be Mastercast, Ultracast, etc. Just not Resi Blast. Save yourself. that's sparkling so big that has to be that pink and silver one yeah, you know, definitely don't want to do a 34 do it TZ hi Trisha I guess it's fun though Black market epoxy. Run it like drugs to the UK craft people. That would be an amazing brand name. Black market epoxy. TM. I feel like if I just say TM behind whatever I'm talking about, then it just makes it trademark, but that's not the case. It's exactly not the case. Alright, so what should I do? Just do that? What? Or should I... Do this like they do on those ones and just go straight. That would be fun, but just know that no, then it's gonna we'll be... then have a bullseye. It would look like the tie-dye piece that I did. Or the galaxy class, which would look fun. Is there a new fam time anytime? I'm confused. So, typically we are 6 p.m. every day central, except for Tuesdays, where we um, go live early at 2 p.m. central. However, there are days where we have other things going on, other projects we have to work on, whatever the case where we have to go live early so that we get our video in for the day because we don't want to miss you guys so on those days we post in atd's poor people that were going live early did we do that yeah so if you do that and, and us resonant worldwide in stone coat but stone coat takes, takes four days takes, to yeah. post this is, this is funny. that's true shane so, Lisa, we do still have our standard time to go live. We're just going to make it stripes? I don't... I'm asking. This is going to be a lot of, like, I don't think... I think you need to smooth it out a little bit. Thank you, Jen. 
Demi says, late, but I made it. Jeff's doing beautiful things, I see. He is. So you guys, if you're new, welcome. Please like, share, Aww. leave me your thumbs. That looks just so beautiful, just from here. Yeah, that's gonna look great. My goodness, now I just wanna do like an ocean wave with that stuff. Is that the abalone? Yeah, it's so light. You can really see the chameleon on the two screens, like the lower one down mm -hmm. here is blue and over here it looks green. Um, usually when we introduce products like this on the channel, we sell out that day. So uh, get it while the getting's good or I have more coming in on the 26th of this month. The awesome thing about chameleons or sparkly things in resin is if he decides to tilt it, that's when you can really see the sparkle and you can really see the color shift. I forgot. I can do this. That sparkle's insane. Look at the difference. Wait. Doink, 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 doink. So he is doing that piece on a lazy Karen. You're welcome, mom. My mom's name is Susan. She was like, I'm offended because of offended culture. But she's just making a joke. Offended culture. She isn't offended cu culture, but because of offended culture, she said, I'm offended, which she really isn't. But since that, we decided to rename it Lazy Karen. Yeah, the bigger screen is turquoise-esque, isn't it? This glitter is going to just populate in every piece we do for the next seven years, I feel like. Y'all, I'm hungry. Oh yeah, Dalmatian Obsession looks really good with the um, color change with the two cameras. So if you guys notice, Jeff's not using a lot of heat. He's just popping the bubbles and then moving the resin. He's trying to thin it out just a little bit, but not a lot because the thinner your resin is, the more likely your colors are going to intermingle a little too much. They're going to just... Was that candy? Mm -mm. This is... Uh, that's the other chameleon? Yeah, that's the chameleon from... from the flake? Yeah. Okay, I was like, why does it look half purple like on the same camera? That is the color flake, the chameleon flakes right there. What is the pink one he put down? That color is, I don't know. That one specifically is purple, gold, green. It's not gonna focus because that's my life, but it's purple, gold, green. Super Chameleon Flakes from Color Obsession. Show you what this bad boy looks like on camera. Look at all those colors it goes through. I feel like there's like an orange in there they could have put in the name of this color. 
I think this is gonna look awesome, like just sitting on that. What's that last one you put down? Halo and like big halo. Oh. It's gonna look super awesome. I know you're gonna end up tilting it a little bit. And so it's gonna like slightly shift into each other. It's gonna look amazing. So guys, what art pieces are you working on lately? Tell me, I need to know. Ooh, which one is, is that the pink and silver? Yeah. I would call that color Sweet 16. Make it so. That one's going to be super, super sparkly. Yeah. I love that little ziggy zag that you did on the left side side of it. It looks very like Saved by the Bell graphics. Yeah. Awesome. TZ, you got this on that geode. I feel like these glitter companies should just ask me what they should call them and then I will help them. You're welcome. Now he's adding on some big top for some bright orangeyness. Two wood TV trays. Make sure you seal those in really well if they're not already. I love watercolor. I just, I'm not good at those. I tried. Hi, Amy O'Connor. It has too much orange in it, I feel. Do you have any left in the cup to just add like a line of it and other parts of it? What? The big top. It has too much orange in it for the piece or in general, like for just life? In general, like, oh. it has a lot of orange. Like, I feel like Tressa made this. Right? It's a very Tressa color. Look at that Sweet 16 color. It's just, it looks like that filter that adds all those like bing, 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 sparkles. That's a technical sound effect. Oh yeah, TZ, that's good though. One fail in the books. Well, it's only one fail, and you're still doing pretty good. Arlene, I'm telling you, I have tried with watercolor. I think I just saturate the water too much. I think it's my problem. I just need to revisit it. If I'm making resin jewelry and don't want the tiny bubbles to formulate in my mold, which resin should I use? I would use a deep cast resin. So... Ultracast by Eli Kim. Supercast by... What is that? Oh, that's the candy pink. Yeah. Um, Ultracast. Supercast by Stonecoat. Those are two of my go-tos. Basically... For doing molds, unless you have a pressure pot, then you need to use a casting epoxy. And the reason for that is because casting epoxies are thinner, so the bubbles that get mixed in when you combine part A and part B together, it's easier for them to work their way out because the resin isn't as thick. Because you will never heat them out. Some people I've heard using a personal massager like a back ma back massager if you hold that to the mold it'll like mm -hmm. vibrate the bubbles out kind of like when people do cement molds they have they put them on like shaky tables 
to work the bubbles out. I have no idea if that works. I've heard about it lately. Meh. Don't know. Meh. Meh. That abalone is like disappearing. Do you have any of that halo or... That yeah. That'll bring that out. I like those big... I'm loving what you're doing with the... I don't like this. Pink. What? This. I want to... Yeah, like you did on the top side. I'm just saying I like those thick squiggles. Very retro. This looks like the most fabulous planet. Yeah. Like if Saturn went to Pride Parade. Yeah. P.S. That would be my favorite planet of ever. Two wood TV trays with resin art to polish it off. Should I wait and stone coat for a top finish coat? I'm not sure, Lisa. With resin art to polish it off. Are you saying you use art resin? Or are you saying art coat? Hey Donna, how are you doing? I hope you've been well. Um, we have tried UV resin. I have a little bottle of it right here from Just Resin. Weighing on if I want to carry it in the shop. What I've used UV resin for is the bubble texture technique, which I have a video on. That's the only thing I've used the UV resin for. I know there's a lot of applications for it and people particularly like it that do jewelry. I just haven't used it for that. Hey Clara. How you is? How you is? Yum. It's my vernacular. So what's your thought process, B? I don't have a thought process. It's just, I like it that it's solid. I, I'm glad it's not like when we first started doing this, like, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I think the key to make it look, to make glitter look refined is to have thicker sections of it and to not be afraid to overload your resin because it's less in there than what you think. That's what she said. But it is. No time! the office. Thank you, Jen Sweeney. Saturn Pride. That would be an awesome. I think I'm down for Saturn Pride or I don't know. It's Jeff's piece. I can't name this piece. It reminds me of 70s glam rock. I'm digging that as well. Yeah, glitter super disperses in any solution that it's in. Ladies, consider glitter nail polish, how many coats you have to put on. I'm going to tilt this. I'm going to take some of this off. Okay. I'm not a fan of big pop. Hi, Johanna. Huh? I'm not a fan of the big pop. I like big top. It just, I don't know if it's. It doesn't go with this. Mm -mm. I wouldn't tilt it that way, though. You're already hanging off. No, just or gonna, scoot it towards you a little this bit. Way too. That's why I'm doing it like that Wonder what would happen if you heat it up and spin it hard. Amy, that is ATD after dark talk. Um, B, do you want me to heat it? Or is it moving okay? It's moving. Um, so if we were doing a, we can do that with pigments. With the resin, we didn't really want it to thin out or merge with the other colors too much. So we we kind of. Oh, uh, that's. 
super fun. You know what I mean? So if we heated it up and spun it really hard, then it would move, obviously. And I think that's something we should do with a smaller piece because this one is the size of our table, which means our cats, which are right there. Come here, girl cat. That's not for you, okay? That's not for you, okay? Um, that's super fun. They're going to step in it. I love it. We're gonna definitely gonna have to flood coat this because you can see the glitter. Hopefully it'll lay flat a little bit. <clears throat> and just keep hitting it with a little more heat. Um Catherine the paint, if you order liquid gold, just put silver in the notes. Because I don't have the silver listed on the website. And using this much glitter, you know there's going to be air pockets everywhere. I would, Lisa. Run off spin coasters? Possibly. Trisha says, love it, don't change it. Denise says, so much fun. Oh, if you guys don't know, this is Wednesday for Little Girl Cat. Something smells burning. No, I can smell that. Oh, it's because of when you set that down on that plastic thing, it's melting to the tip. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll hold that up. She was liquid silver in a crater board geode on August 31st. Me? Well, Arlene, that is an excellent question that I think Jeff just mentioned, but I will mention it again. He is going to have to flood coat it. God, that looks crazy. From here, it doesn't look like anything sticking up, and the glitter particles, because he did use a good bit of heat, um, may level off. But if it doesn't, it's no big deal. We'll just we'll flood it. Johanna, I have no idea what you're talking about, but thank you for tuning in and watching us today. So what are we going to put over this? We're going to have to do the thing. How did we do it last time? What did... Oh, the... Um... 40, the 20 by 60. I can pull the 20 by... Huh? We just have to make room. We still have the 20 by 60. Yeah, I know. But we can use that. The... What is that, 36? Yeah, it would just go. No, it's 36 okay. by 60. Yeah. So it would just be... Just set up um, four cups around it. I need like bigger cups though. Okay. Got a lot. See how it looks on camera? Ah, it looks completely different. I think before we um, cover it, we should do a TCD. Thank you, Lisa. So you're in France, Johanna. I appreciate you being here. We've had a few French uh, viewers. We're gonna visit one day. We sent uh, some shirts over to France. 
Don't step back, you'll cut your cattail. It's reflecting on you. It's reflecting on you too. That's crazy. Like it looks like a disco ball. We should just do a whole table in Sweet 16. One second, you guys, on questions. I have to go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where the blue meets the white is so yum. Agreed. All right, but you got the cups set up? No, no. I don't know. Um, I don't think there's going to be enough room. That thing is, like... Why don't we just get a 36 by 36 or a 36 by 48? That's just way too... Why don't we set it this way? We're not going to be over here. Because it's at least this wide. Because then they'll jump up on it. by 36s. Oh my goodness, that's so true, Lisa. She says, your cats are going to go nuts chasing their reflections off this piece. Y'all... Last night, Boycat decided he was going to be a window DJ. That doesn't make any sense. You had to be there, I guess. He gets in the window and is like, er, 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 Still, I to be there. That's the same length as that. Okay. Yet in my Twitter. Okay. How big is that piece? The motorcycle piece. 36, 48, I believe. I have to double check. Awesome, Trisha. It's so exciting. That's fun. It is World, is it World Women's Day? Uh, 
Uh, Mr. Paul, it means how you doing? Well, we're awesome, how you doing? He's just covering up everything. His hat's not to go where they're not supposed to go. That's their favorite place to be is where they're not supposed to. I just don't get it. I don't understand how they know. Like, just so you guys can see what all the ruckus is. All right. Same. So, they want some. It's all cats. Masks. We got some masks. I'm wearing one that I made myself. This is artistholdup.com. He's got the Mr. ATD. Did we add the outline on there? You should. Why wouldn't we? I sent you all the pictures. Well, you sent me a picture then. It's on there. This is my favorite one. The B. These don't come with filters, but you can insert any filter for whatever purpose you have. All your needs. Thanks, you guys. I took some time to get ready today. Yeah, they're fake eyelashes. Mine aren't that long, and they're blonde, so, yeah. Last summer, I put hamburger rolls on top of the freezer for a party. Your cat jumped up and tears a hole in the bag. Our cats eat paper. They eat toilet paper and paper towels. Well... Boy Cat will get up on the printer and just shred any paper that's up there. So that's exciting. Okay. I got orders to put out. I still haven't opened text messages this week, so that's probably going to happen in a minute. Is his name Boycat? It may as well be. We, I call them by both their names. Boycat, Wednesday, Girl Cat, Pugsley. If I flip those. Flip them, flapper. Flip it and reverse it? Yeah. Arlene, it was not. It was just nonsensical. And I'm not sure because of the translation if it was said inappropriately or just because of translator. It's not art related, so. Anyways. Everyone loves your piece. Okay, love you, bye. I think you went to go get some lunch. Anyways, you guys. I'm going to try to say this as low-key as possible because we just took the boys out and I don't feel like going back outside. It's freezing. Well, it's freezing for me in Texas. Real talk, it's, it's probably in the 60s, which is not freezing for most people, but it's cool. in my head, if I have to wear a jacket, it's freezing. Freezing. I'm looking around for Cujo. He's not out here yet. So, you guys, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. Hope you had a good time. Hope you have an awesome Friday. Read all these things. Follow us on all of our social medias. We're live every day. Most every day. We post every day. We post most every day. And where do we send them? Never get it because I'm like, Lauren, please tell me which one. What are we talking about, Lisa? Hmm? Hmm? I don't know. 
and yeah, it's 75 in Austin. It's 75 degrees in Austin? Rude, yeah. Please hold it. It's 54 here. I'm con oh, send pictures. Oh, I think usually to our Facebook group. Ugh. Anyways, it's cold. Tonight's supposed to be 47. Monday lows 40. But y'all don't want to hear the weather. That's not why you came here. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope you learned something. We love you guys so, so much. We'll be live again tomorrow, probably earlier because the weekend. We got stuff to do. And yep. um, so, yeah, be kind to one another. Zero. Huh? Oh, six, six, six. It bounces. Um, be kind of one another. You never know what someone's going through. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Say bye. <laughs>